the companion recipe to getting parameter type is to set parameters. And this is really works the same way. So I'm going to, instead of using the get parameter by name, I'm going to use set parameter by name. And this works by providing the list of elements that I want to set the parameter of. Then I have to provide the parameter name. And then the only additional thing is I have to provide the value that I want to put into it. So in this case, if I want to set an instance parameter, again, I don't have to get the element type. I can just plug in the actual element. So let's say in our rooms, we want to set the comment field to say this is a test comment. I'm just using this as an example. So I'm going to go ahead and let me just copy. I'm going to copy our get all by category. I'm going to set this equal to rooms. And I'm going to just type R and I can kind of filter through the list. There are a lot of categories you'll see. Uh, so sometimes it takes a while to go through them. So I'm getting all the rooms. I'm going to plug that into my element input. So for all the rooms in Revit, it's going in my current model, it's going to set the comment field equal to this is a test comment. So all I have to do is hit run. It's going to go through and it's going to do that operation pretty quickly. And we'll take a look once it finishes. So we have our, our beach ball. This is the time when you kind of hold your breath and hope your script doesn't break. Okay, so it completed. Now I'm going to switch to Revit. I'm going to go into one of my rooms here. And I can see that it actually did add that comment right there. So, and if I, let's check out some other rooms here. So it pretty much went through all of the rooms and, and added that comment. Now, this is just a, you know, a pretty silly example. You'd never want to do that for real. But it shows you that it's actually very straightforward to be able to set uh, parameters inside of the Revit model. And again, all you're doing is using this set parameter by name. Uh, same thing goes, you can do the same thing with setting type parameters. So for example, let's go back to our door. Um, we were getting all the doors by category. If we want to go ahead and make a universal change on all of our doors, let's say we want to change the trim width of all of our doors to be 100 millimeters. Uh, I could do that using this combination of get all by category and set type parameter. Let me give this a run. This may break because there may be some doors that obviously don't have a trim, um, a trim width parameter, but some of the others will. So let's again we cross our fingers, hope it works. Take a quick drink here, and it looks like it ran. We did get an error, and that's probably because yeah, some of them didn't have that parameter. But let's let's take a a look and see which ones it did, I'm going to go to edit type and my bring my type parameters, trim width set to 100 right here. So we could use that. Again, we may want to filter, which we're going to talk about in a second, but we would we could filter our list so that we only you know filter the doors that we know have a actual trim width and then update the trim type there. And again, we're doing it universally across the board. We're not going through manually and clicking those values and setting it. So let's head back into Dynamo. So that way too, we can set instance parameters real easy. We can set type parameters real easy.